In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can hide the status bar, a common problem in PhoneGap applications built for iOS. Um, what we've got here, this is our problem. I've got uh, the iOS simulator running, and I went ahead and built the default PhoneGap application using the build settings that are on the PhoneGap.com website. And one of the things you'll see is right across the top, overlaying the application, are the carrier, phone, um, the uh, date, and the battery status. Anything that's actually in the status bar. So if you're running this off a real application, there could be the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi settings and all that kind of great fun stuff. So you can actually go ahead and there are two ways you can hide this. Uh, one is to use the plugin architecture and uh, the plugin architecture for PhoneGap allows you to both hide the status bar but you can also show the status bar and set default colors for it. So if you wanted a different color to the one that is there by default uh, you can control that and that will allow you to build solutions that will run across multiple platforms um, in this instance, I'm building just for iOS, so what I want to do is I want to be able to hide the status bar for iOS. Uh, this is a problem as of iOS 7 and 8 and up. Uh, so for me to be able to do that, I need to be in Xcode. And I went and opened up the default Xcode application project um, that is created by PhoneGap. Under the main files, I select the uh, top most uh, file which has all the summary data and there's a couple of things I want to do is first of all I want to select under the general tab I want to select hide status bar that's the first step I want to take um, you'll see that with the iPad that you also want to hide the status bar during launch. For some reason, this is already set to being checked uh, when you build your application with PhoneGap. The next we want to do is go to info and under info we want to actually go ahead and create a custom iOS target property and the target property we're going to create is called view controller dash base status bar appearance. Uh, this is actually a boolean value of true or false, the default is false or no and what this will do is actually hide the status bar in your application. So to go ahead and add that to your target properties, just select one of the uh, property items and you'll see that there's a plus and minus sign will appear alongside the property. Select the plus symbol and they'll actually give you a new value you can enter. I'm actually going to paste in the view control based status bar property. And when I click outside of that property, you'll see that the default value is automatically set to no. So I'm just going to stop the application I was running before and I'm going to rerun it. And when I rerun it, this time you actually see that it'll actually load up. There's no status bar across the top and when the actual application gets starting and is beyond the uh, startup screen, you'll see that there is no status bar there as well. See, it's all gone. And that is how you hide the status bar for iOS 7 and higher applications without having to use plugins for PhoneGap.